Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to manage and trade NFTs on the PancakeSwap platform. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here on the PancakeSwap homepage, and uh, they have just enabled uh, NFT trading. And uh, you'll notice here there's a little alert up here. So you've got live NFT trading on PancakeSwap. Now, if you're going to use PancakeSwap, you're going to need to connect it to a wallet. I have mine connected to my MetaMask wallet. And if you don't know how to connect your MetaMask wallet to PancakeSwap using the Binance Smart Chain, I've got a great video on how you get that all set up. I'll put a link to that up in the corner there so you can get yourself going. Uh, you're going to need to have your wallet funded with some BNB. Uh, and you're going to need some cake tokens to perform some of these operations. So if you don't have any cake in your wallet yet, you can do that pretty easily. Just go over to the trading interface and choose cake. If you don't see it here in the list, you can just type it. Uh, there it is, pancake swap token. As you can see, I already have a little bit, but you can trade for it with BNB. Just put in a small amount of BNB and then you can make a swap. So uh, when you hit swap here, you'll need to uh, confirm it and then sign it using your MetaMask wallet. And there you can see uh, behind me that it confirmed in my MetaMask wallet. I've got a little confirmation alert up here on the top right that says that I have made the swap. And you'll notice that my cake balance has increased. All right, so if we want to play around with NFTs, we can go over here to Overview. And so you can see all the NFTs that are out there uh, that you can trade for on PancakeSwap. And then uh, you'll also uh, see this button up here to Manage and Sell. So if we click there, the first thing it'll want us to do is activate the profile. Now, I'm not sure if you can make these trades without an active profile. Uh, but it's not that difficult to get a profile created. So if we click Activate Profile, there are some starter NFTs that you can choose for your uh, profile picture. All right now, if you go over here, you can see that I already have a couple of uh, NFTs in my collection here, and I believe I could use one of those uh, for my profile picture, but you can also buy one on the fly here. We'll see how much they cost here. Let's try uh, Twinkle, and we'll hit Enable here. All right, and you'll need to uh, enable this in your uh, profile so that you can make this trade. All right, so it's only going to cost you one cake. Uh, and one cake right now is around $20. So it'll cost you around $20 to uh, set up this profile pick. I'll go ahead and, chew and use Twinkle. <laughs> and I'll hit confirm here. And then I'll sign this in my wallet. The gas fees on the Binance Smart Chain are pretty small. All right, and that got confirmed in my MetaMask wallet pretty quickly. And there's the success. And you'll notice there that I have just purchased this Twinkle, but uh, it looks like I may have been able to move to this without actually making a purchase. But I'll go ahead and use the Twinkle as my profile picture. Now it's going to lock this in your profile so that you can't sell it. Uh, it's not a big deal. If you decide you want to sell it later, you can unlock it. So we'll hit Enable here going to cost us a little bit of BNB to do this. Now, uh, as you noticed, I already had some NFTs in there. Uh, it looks like you could probably trade them without creating a profile pick and locking up an NFT in your profile. But And so you, think to your, you might think to yourself, why would I want to do this? Uh, let's go ahead and hit the next step here. You'll join a team. Now, and so the reason that you want to do this is that you can earn uh, rewards within PancakeSwap or points within PancakeSwap if you have a profile enabled. So that's the reason why we're going through this. I choose a team. 
different team this time. Here's my name. All right, Pancake Jake. Something different. We'll hit confirm. Ha! MetaMask. Yay! Okay. So we come up here. All right, and MetaMask signed it. We'll hit complete profile. We'll. Uh, it's going to cost us 0.5 cake. It's cake in the wallet. It's going to be signed by MetaMask one more time. I'm going to hit confirm here. Looks like I'll have to do one more confirmation in MetaMask. A small amount of BNB. I got that part confirmed. And there we go. All right. So uh, to sum up, I was having some issues during the setting the name step where it was launching my Binance chain extension. Right now, maybe... Not many of you will have both MetaMask and Binance Chain in your extensions. I happen to. And the only way that I could get around this issue was to completely delete the Binance Chain extension from my Chrome browser. I had to back it up because there were some funds in there. I backed up the private keys and I can always restore it if I want to. But that was the only way I could get past that issue. And then I had to exit Pancake Swap and do a couple of refreshes and get everything straightened out and try from scratch before it finally worked and allowed MetaMask to uh, confirm all those transactions. You guys may not have those issues. Uh, I have a lot of different extensions. I have multiple MetaMask wallets. So uh, hopefully if you're just using one MetaMask wallet and you don't have any other wallet extensions, you should get through this step pretty smoothly, All right? And then I should also mention that I changed teams. <laughs> uh, so uh, I don't know that that had any effect, but uh, I finally got this done, right? So I've got my name set uh, and it's got, this is my profile. I didn't know that I wanted that as my profile. <laughs> I think I did that too. That's not what I wanted. Well, I must have accidentally clicked it. Okay, I'd rather have Twinkle. So now let's do a little management. Let's hit Profile. Okay, we'll hit uh, Remove Profile Pick. And we're just going to do a change, right? It'll cost us a little bit of uh, cake, but that's fine. So I'm going to put Twinkle in there. Uh, we'll confirm that. All right, that was confirmed in MetaMask. All right, now I'll confirm it once again. In pancake swap, sign it again. All right, that confirmed, and there we go. So now I've got the profile pick in there that I want. This is uh, a not a very valuable uh, NFT, so I chose to lock that up. I must have accidentally chosen this one, uh, but no big deal, right? Cost me a little bit of cake to do the swap profile, but that's not that. It's not that much, right? All right, so now we've got a profile set up, and uh, we can earn achievements. I don't have any achievements yet, but uh, in, you, in order to earn achievements, you'll need to activate your profile. So we got that taken care of. Uh, and then I've got some NFTs down here. You'll notice this one is worth uh, a little bit. Uh, it was a bonus NFT that I earned uh, last year uh, that I've just had in the wallet. And then uh, this one I transferred from a different wallet. So uh, let's say that you do have some NFTs in another Binance Smart Chain wallet. How would you get them in here? Well, we'll just go up to MetaMask here. All right, I'm going to copy the address of my current wallet into my clipboard. And then I will switch wallets. I'll go back over to this older wallet. Right, and uh, you can see here that I'm I've I've switched wallets, but my profile looks the same as my other wallet. So I'm going to have to refresh. Okay, and let's switch. Wow. Okay, there. Whew. Yeah, it's kind of uh, a little tricky dealing with multiple MetaMask wallet when you're on the Pancake Swap website. But as you can see, this is a different wallet with different profiles, uh, with a different profile and different NFTs, right? 
So I would like to move these NFTs over to that original wallet that we started with. So uh, we'll just go in here. All right, and instead of selling it, I'm gonna transfer it. And I'll paste in the address of my uh, Binance Smart Chain wallet. I'll hit confirm here, confirm again. We'll sign this with MetaMask. All right, that got con confirmed in uh, MetaMask. We'll hit close here. Okay, and then you can see I still have a few left in here. So let's go back. Uh, let's switch wallets again, see if we can do that. We'll go up here to MetaMask, and we'll hit uh, up here where it says connected. We can connect and then switch to the other account, right, which is switch to this account. And we're st it's still showing the old profile, so I'll switch to a different area of the site. We'll go back to manage cell, and then now it's back to this chaotic cakers. And you can see now that Stormy Easter is in this wallet now. So I managed to transfer my NFT from one wallet to another, right? So we can manage the NFTs, move them back and forth between the wallets. Well, why don't we try and buy an, NF, an NFT here using Cake, right? So uh, let's go over to Collections. All right, here's Claire. Uh, it looks like they've got it in uh, Binance Coin rather than Cake, which is interesting. All right, so I'll hit Claire here. And it wants to use uh, Binance Coin. Right, so if you look in my MetaMask wallet, you'll see that I have Binance Coin available in the wallet, and uh, it'll cost me 0.67 Binance Coin to buy this NFT. All right, so let me uh, give that a try. I'll hit buy. All right, uh, I'm going to pay with BNB. We'll hit checkout. I'll confirm that. All right, I'll go ahead and sign this transaction with my MetaMask wallet. Okay, so that one went through. It's confirmed in MetaMask. So uh, let's check our BNB balance in MetaMask. It should be down, right? So we used, I had one failed transaction. I just tried again. Didn't cost me that much in BNB. All right, uh, so there's my updated BNB balance. Uh, let's go over to, uh, well, we can, if we go to overview, we can use this button for manage cell that will take us to our uh, holdings, but you can also do that here. You can do it up here and go to your NFTs and it'll take you over to your profile picture. And you can see here that I have that new NFT in my collection. So we can purchase NFTs on the Binance Smart Chain using Binance Coin or BNB. Uh, you can also use wrapped Binance Coin if you have that as well. Now, also, uh, if you sell one of these, I'm going to switch back to the other wallet. Okay. Yeah, I have an extra twinkle over here. So I'm going to just, I'll go ahead and first I'll send it to the other wallet. confirm that we'll sign in MetaMask all right that confirmed in MetaMask the transfer completed there you can see I have less now I'll go back over to MetaMask I'm going to go up here to uh, where it says connected I will switch over to the other account switch to the new account and uh, the profile stays the same, so I, I need to exit and go back over and hit Manage Cell to get into the new profile, right? The, the current profile. All right, so as you can see, I have an extra twinkle here, and one of them is in my wallet. So we'll go ahead and sell this one. So we'll uh, just click on it and choose Sell. All right, so the lowest price on the market is 0.054. So I'll just do 0 0.05 and see if it sells. Or even four, I'll just do four. Hopefully that'll just go ahead and get it sold, right? We'll hit enable listing. I'll enable that. 
I'll sign it. All right, that got confirmed in MetaMask. I'll go ahead and confirm uh, once again here. We'll sign again in MetaMask. That one got confirmed. Right, that got closed. My NFT is listed for sale, and you can see it here. So apparently, you know, the lowest price is a 0.04, and my price is 0.04. So I guess what they're saying is, I now am selling this for the lowest price. Now this may not sell right away because this is a lower end NFT. There aren't many people out there looking for this one, I would imagine. But it does have a value now, which is around one cake. But uh, so let's go back over here uh, to activity and see what it shows here. So you can see here, uh, well, it says that it's sold. Interesting. Let's go back to items. Let's, uh, Let's go out and back in and see if it shows it. Yeah, okay, so it disappeared. It did sell. That's cool. So uh, now that I've managed to sell one, where's that extra BNB? Let's go to activity. And from what I understand, it comes in as a wrapped BNB into your wallet. If we go over to MetaMask, activity there's it says contract interaction so let's take a look over it let's take a look at it over on the binance smart chain right, i'm just going to paste in the address of my wallet continue here we can sort of inspect the wallet here ah okay see there we go there is some wrapped bnb in my wallet now that's worth uh $16.86. So that was the sale, right? It came in and as wrapped BNB. And you can see it here as well. If we go over to trade and uh, we simply choose wrapped BNB, see, there it is. WBNB is in the wallet now. Uh, we can swap that back to BNB with no fees. All right? It just says unwrap. So we can we can take that wrapped BNB that we got paid for that NFT, and just uh, click unwrap, and it gets added to our BNB balance. All right. So just in case you sell an NFT and you're wondering what happened to your BNB that you that you got, it, it showed up as wrapped BNB. So all you have to do is go to your trading exchange and look for wrapped BNB in your wallet, and choose unwrap. All right, we'll sign that in MetaMask. All right, and it shows up. You'll notice the balance here will go to zero, and then the balance here will go up. And there you go. So there you go. So that's how you sell an NFT. So I know it was a little tricky, uh, some of the things that I was doing. Uh, I had a little difficulties uh, myself, but uh, as far as the... Uh, BNB fees that we had to pay for these transactions, very, very, very low compared to the Ethereum blockchain. So we're on an NFT platform now where we can uh, trade NFTs uh, with very low fees. All right, so that's the uh, advantage of using the PancakeSwap website to manage and trade NFTs. All right, so I hope this uh, was enough to get you started on trading NFTs over on PancakeSwap. And best of luck to all of you. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.